Welcome back to Magic Cat Security and we have a nice little tutorial here. Um, this is a third of three in a row that we're working on our various screens here that we can customize. So we've customized our boot screen, we've customized the lock screen. Now I'm going to show you how to customize your animation screen that's in between there. Um, so we will, I already have us booted up here so we'll get right to it. Let's go ahead and go full screen on our virtual machine here so we can get right to work. Give it just a moment to catch up. I said give it a moment to catch up. Come on now. Uh, why are you being a pain in the butt? resize for us today. <laughs> Why it's being a, a pain. Okay, so let's try it again. Let me try an actual resize, resize first. There we go. Don't know why it came off to auto resize for some reason. There we go. Okay. Because I certainly didn't turn it off, so I'm not sure why it did that. So here we are. Now we're going to, just like we did with the other two, we need to open up our tools that we're going to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Krita. And of course, you can use GIMP if you like or whatever program you prefer, but I prefer using Krita. Um, and I do have GIMP on here. I have used it and I do use it, use it occasionally. I use a tablet here also though and there are a lot more selections for brushes and things and all for Krita and the pressure sensitivity and all that good stuff. So I, I kind of like that. But anyhow, I have my reasons. Choose what you like. It's all up to you. So we have this open and let's get our wallpapers open. There we go. And I may not have the best of wallpapers here for you, but you know, it, it's a selection. I, for some reason, uh, our VM's not wanting to accept a shared folder. I don't know why, but it's uh, being a little bit of a pain there. So we'll, we'll just ignore that for now. Um, but what uh, we do need to do is decide what we're going to use for our animation screen. So let's look through and see what we like. Um, that one's kind of cool. I did kind of like that one. Heck, the planet's kind of funny. The hacker mask. Hmm. What if we went with that one? Yes, no, maybe. Um, yeah, let's go with that one. Alright, so... We decided which uh, image we want to use now, so let's go to another workspace and hit Alt T to open up our terminal. I'm going to go ahead and open it up a little bit here. And let's go down to the root of the hard drive or the base directory. Okay, and now we're going to go into let's see. And I've forgotten the path, so let me go grab a look. This is also why I'm supplying you with the um, the specs for this, because um, sometimes you forget the path. User share, okay, gotcha. All right, so let's go back. All right, there we go. So we're going to go into the directory we need to be into. So CD user share. Plymouth, P L Y M O U T H. All right, and then we'll go ahead and take a look in there. We want to go into themes, okay? So CD themes. Whoop, if I can spell. There we go. All right, so that's what's inside themes. And we want to choose parrot, okay? So CD parrot. All right, here we are. 
Now, you have a lot of different files in here. The one we're interested in is background.png. But just let me take just a moment to explain to you some of the different things that we can customize in here beyond the background. Okay. Um, the animation screen, you have basically a little square icon. In fact, let's go there. Um, so I can show you at the same time what I'm talking about. So we go to user, then we go to share, go down to P's here. Way, way, way down. Okay, so we're looking for Plymouth, not Parrot anything. Okay, so go down a bit. There we go. There's Plymouth and Themes, and we want Parrot. Okay, so let's go over here. We can just get all these out of the way. So, all right, so what we're looking at in here, just to show you what's what. what I hate when that happens. Dag nabbit. There. That was about to irritate me. Okay, so what we are looking at here is that we have out of these files, which are here, um, this is your background. This is what we're going to change. Okay. That ugly thing there. Now on the animation screen, you see something in the center of this background. Um, you see the logo here, and below it you see these little dots that slowly go across, blinking on and off across. And these various dots are what achieve that. Okay, so we can actually change these if we want to. You can change them little squares or stars or quarter moons or you know whatever you want to do. Um, hands flipping a bird, whatever you feel like doing, whatever craziness you want to do. You can also change this logo, okay? So now notice one says design, uh, Debian logo and the other one says Debian logo 16. And I'm assuming that this is probably 80 by 100, 80 by 105. Now look at here, you see, I do see um, something interesting that it's actually cut out, it's uh, transparent. I'm guessing that um, very possibly this one is a 16-bit and this one's 8-bit. Um, I would have to open it and uh, or look at the properties perhaps. Let's see. Uh, image doesn't really tell us, does it? But that's okay. But I'm guessing that's what it is. But my point is, is that you can change these images too, um, which was my idea of taking something like oh, this maybe and you could actually we could change that to those images and use this for our, our little um, block there um, so you can get really crazy and fully customize it if you want to you really can um, or you, if you wanted we could go with uh, something like the evil core <laughs> put that as our logo in there if we wanted to or we could put uh, our app society guy but we have him on the boot screen we don't want to do that again so we'll leave him there all right so now now that you understand what's what here we need to copy the background image to our desktop okay so back on the um, let's clear that so there's not as much uh, confusion Alright, so we want to copy our background.png to the desktop to work with. Alright, so we're going to do sudo copy background.png and we're going to copy it to, remember we have to go to the desktop location for test dummy. Alright, and we're going to call it the same thing it is now, background.png. 
right, let me in, one, two, three, we'll test dummy's password, and poof, it pops up here on the desktop. Very good. So there's our, our ugly background we want to change. All right, so let's go over here, back to our workspace with Krita open and our wallpapers. We're going to put our desktop um, image in there that we just copied over. Using our mouse wheel, we're going to zoom out a bit. <coughs> then I'm going to come over here. And you know what? I think I changed my mind. I'm going to go with this one. That, that little matrix one. Insert as new layer. Okay, and see it's a good bit smaller. And this is why I did this, because um, we've been dealing with larger images. Um, we again choose a selection tool. Grab that corner and just let it kind of snap into place. Boom. And see, it's going to be a little bit blurry on there, but you know what? It's not going to matter for what we're using it for, really. It truly is not. And we're going to select the layer and flatten that so that there are no longer two layers. It's one flattened image. Okay. Flatten the layer. There we go. All right. And then uh, we are going to um, did flatten all the flatten image. Here we go. Much better. All right. So now we're going to say, I'm going to close this and we'll say, yes, we want to save it. And yes, we're going to save it to desktop and we're going to put a one at the end of that one just so it doesn't try to overwrite or anything. Save. We're going to put indexed and okay. And there we're done. So we can close Krita and we can close our wallpapers and then we can come back over to our, our uh, other workspace with our terminal open. And now we need to, before we copy anything, remember we need to change the name of, of background.png so that it is um, not going to be overwritten and we still have a copy of it. So sudo move, the MV for move, and then we're going to put the name of it and we're going to change it to png.old. Okay. So it's still there, but it has a different name now. So now we need to copy our new image over. So we're going to do sudo copy. And we're going to copy home, test dummy, desktop, background.png. Whoop, I meant background1.png, our new image. That's the one we want to copy. And we're copying it to this folder, so we just have to type what it is, and we're going to rename it at the same time, remember, when we move it, so we're going to put background.png, which is what the proper name is. Hit enter, do a list, and see we have our image back now. Okay, and then we are going to exit this, just like that, and let's go ahead and file this away, create a folder and animation screen so we're going to drop that new image over there because that's our new animation screen we don't need this anymore we have the original that's just what we were working with okay we can close this now all right so let me uh, bring this down out of full screen <laughs> it still kind of looks full screen there doesn't it bring it to a more manageable size there we go all right so Let's restart our system now and see our changes. Look at that. Did you catch that? All right. There's our custom boot image. There's our custom animation screen. And there's our custom lock screen. Let me in one, two, three. And remember, you can change that little parrot logo, too, if you want, to something totally different. Same kind of process, exact same process. Um, so I'm not going to bother going through that, but uh, you should know how to do it from this. If you can't figure it out from watching these uh, past three videos, then you probably shouldn't be messing with it at all. <laughs> we'll put it that way. All right, so um, our little, this little added bonus. Let me go ahead and shut this down. There we go. As a um, little added bonus, I'm going to be offering this for 
download. Um, this is just the specifics of everything here. Um, best to have 40 by 360 pixels, 8-bit for your uh, boot screen. Not as necessarily, um, not as much necessary for your lock screen or animation. You're going to resize them anyway. If you do it the way I told you, it, it'll work fine, as you as you just saw yourself. But this gives you the directories. All right, your and I should actually probably turn these around. Let me uh, let me do that because it's going to bug me if I don't. There we go. So your boot screen is in user share images. Your lock screen is act light DM, and your animation screen animation screen is in user share Plymouth themes parrot. Okay, and let's go ahead and put the name of it. It will be background png right so that's what we put there so i'm going to offer this for download also i'm going to put this uh on the website uh so if you're looking through youtube you won't have this but if you go to my website you'll be able to download this also so that you have it for your notes if you'd like to just so you remember the past um and that's all for today so i hope you enjoyed that and in our next tutorial, we're actually going to be jumping into uh, some of our pen testing uh, applications. I haven't decided which one we're going to go over first, but uh, we are going to go into the pen testing applications now. And uh, we'll start going over those. So I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure and visit us at magiccat.com and leave comments, suggestions, or anything you'd like to say there contact me if you need to well by the way we're also an irc and channel magic cat on the server free node so feel free to come chat with us there we'd love to see you all right have a great one